We're in northern Tanzania. We're up near the border of Kenya. We're at, we're at a hospital, and there's a 32-year-old uh, pregnant woman. She's admitted. She's dehydrated. She's reporting three plus weeks of diarrhea. Um, she's in her second trimester of her second pregnancy, um, and she's there because she's been having um, she's been having diarrhea. And as I mentioned, uh, the stools are sticky, um, and she says it's hard for her to get herself clean. But she also noticed blood mixed in the stool. So I just want to make the point because I'm curious about like was it I've been having diarrhea now when I wipe there's blood or is the blood mixed in? The blood's actually mixed in with this sort of greasy, uh, sticky stools. Um, she doesn't tell us about any fever or chills, uh, but she does report that she feels weak. Um, you know, ask her a little bit more about exposures, right? So she, this is not a woman going out to restaurants, um, you know, preparing things in the home. Um, ask a little bit about, um, you know, access to clean water in the area. So, um, in the area, there's some uh, some some folks are getting water from boreholes. Some are collecting rainwater. Some are collecting from rivers. Uh, she's getting hers from a nearby river. Um, she lives with her husband. The one other child is about two years old. Uh, she's HIV negative. Um, she said that she'd been in good health. Otherwise, um, when we see her, you know, she's she's there in the bed in the hospital. Um, she's tired. She really looks worn down. Um, now she's already um, starting to feel better. Um, her blood work um, on admission was notable for a low hemoglobin, so the red blood cell level is low. She's got an elevated creatinine on her initial blood work. Um, and stool studies are sent, and this will be my hint for our regular listeners. Occam would be confused, but Dr. Hickam would know what to do. Oh, my gosh, Daniel. <laughs> <clears throat> Hickam's razor. 